The embedded software market is so huge, and it'll reach $137.5 billion by 2027. Let's review what it is and how it works. Watch this video till the end to know the latest tendencies that will surprise you. You're on the Jelvix channel, tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. An embedded system is a mix of software and computer hardware that performs a specific function. Embedded applications are software that lives inside a device to perform a particular set of functions. In turn, embedded programming is a type of programming that creates user or business devices that don't run on the traditional OS. Traditionally, the C and C++ languages are used to develop software embedded on a hardware chip. Also, c -sharp is suitable for embedded solutions. And Java is used to write portable and extensible embedded systems that can be ported to different platforms. Verilog, Python, Java, Rust, JavaScript, Ada, Lua, and embedded C++ can be utilized for embedded development. Among authentic examples of embedded software are automotive systems, medical equipment, GPS systems, central heating systems, and fitness trackers. Can you think of good examples of embedded software? Share in the comments section. In the list of distinctive features of the embedded software, we define compact form factor as embedded systems have a miniature size, low energy consumption as embedded devices don't require a lot of power to operate, and high performance since the software performs a single task on a dedicated device and its implementation must be optimal for end users. We should note that any embedded system is an integration of the hardware and software layers. Let's have a look at each of them. The hardware layer is built around the CPU, which is the primary system controller. It can be represented by a microprocessor that contains only a central processing unit with a minimal amount of power to perform a straightforward operation and a microcontroller. That's a combination of processor, RAM, and ROM I.O. ports that can perform multiple tasks on a single chip. The software layer includes four parts, namely firmware that's written for specific hardware, an operating system that's used for setting rules and managing system resources, middleware that serves as an intermediary providing communication between the upper and lower layers of software, and application software that directly performs the functions of the system and interacts with end users. By the way, we highly recommend you check out our article about the software testing lifecycle. The link is in the description. Given the complexity of this area of programming, embedded software companies face several fundamental challenges. The list of the most relevant ones includes compatibility and integrity, as users should administer the application through a simple user interface across all channels. Fault tolerance, as devices with embedded systems must be safe, and the system must avoid problems with vital functions in critical conditions. Stability, as the devices can be dangerous to the user and the lives of others. Surprises are unacceptable. Security, so developers must take care of the security of every device at all levels. And design limitations, because the market is challenging developers to pack more computing power into smaller hardware. And covering the latest tendencies of the embedded software industry, we have to mention fast speed and wireless connections, as 5G will transform embedded systems in different areas. Python as a dominant language, as the number of projects in the embedded space that have been programmed in Python has doubled in the past few years. Cybersecurity, as recent hardware developments mostly has an embedded security chip, and affordable AI, as intelligent embedded systems will help improve the security of embedded devices when connected to the cloud and reduce the overall power consumption of connected systems. Well, embedded software development is something that the path to innovation is impossible without. Therefore, it's a necessity for business and everyday life, and many technological developments promise substantial benefits in the coming years. And which tendency in the embedded software industry do you consider the most promising? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. 
So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.